Hello, my love. Good morning to you. I hope that this finds you well. I hope that you are rested. I hope that you are excited for your day. I hope you are thoughtful about your day. I hope today that you find time to listen intently to someone or something. A sound or sounds that you really hear. I hope that for you for today. I was thinking about distrust and what a dangerous and insidious thing distrust can be. I found in my life that when I allowed myself to have distrust, when I allowed myself to not trust other people, it made my life less pleasant. If you have the option to choose between the two of trusting someone or distrusting or not trusting someone, I recommend that you choose to trust them. Trust, excuse me, distrust leads to animosity and it's paranoia and this sort of acrid distaste in one's soul, so to speak when you let distrust sink in because it feeds on itself and it builds on itself and it doesn't, it doesn't help. At least I didn't find it did. So if you're in this situation and you have the opportunity to choose between the two, choose trust. This is not to say that there are most certainly times when you should be wary and cautious, but if you do not have the means to tell whether assuming you're dealing with another person, if you do not have the means to tell whether or not they are being distrustful, if you can't actually verify it, then let it go and think the better of them. Think that they're being their best self. Believe in the best in people, right? Because you have no way to verify whether it's true or not what they're saying. So why not just trust them? Especially if the outcome, if the stakes are low, or whether you trust them or not is not going to change the outcome. If you're still going to deal with this person, um, then, and you cannot verify whether they're being accurate, then trust them. Especially if it's not going to change the outcome, if you're still going to do it. There are different ways to think about this. There was a, a woman named Virginia Heffernan, Heffernan, ah, my memory is, is, is not very good, um, Heffernan wrote an article once and she talked about something called Scary's Axiom, or, um, yeah, Scary's Axiom, and it was, it was, had to do with pain, and it was, the way she characterized it was, if I'm remembering correctly, is, to have pain is to have great certainty. To hear about someone else's pain is to have great doubt. And it's, that sort of embodies the, the problem in a sense that, especially if, you, if someone tells you that they are feeling a lot of pain for some reason, we question it, we poke at it, we wonder, is it true? Or what is the cause of it? Or are they the cause of it? Or why is it happening? And is it really the way they say it is? Are they really struggling as much as they say they're struggling? And this goes back to the thought of take people at face value or take people as they present themselves. If someone says they are in pain, trust that they are actually in pain. If their life is difficult, trust that for them their life is difficult. Um, Take them at face value, because to distrust, one, negates their experience or invalidates their experience, which is not a good way to maintain a relationship. Um, and if you want to pause later and think about what you're being presented with and, and discuss it with them, but so much of love life is bearing witness. And in, in that particular case, um, again, we're not talking about a transaction as I was talking about before, although I should probably look over here, because I think I was looking that way. Um, and let's make the, the pain distrust over here um, just better 
ways to think about it or conceptually see it. But if you're talking with someone and they're saying that they're in pain and you don't trust them, trust them. Take them at face value. And it will enrich your relationship. It will build, it will give them the balm that they need. And then if later you want to try and help them, um, God forbid, um, because that itself is a, is a, is a tricky business. Um, but if you want to help them because tricky business, because they need to have asked for the help first, but the setting that aside, um, then do so. And then investigate or, or, or sort of get into the weeds of it all. But I'm rambling a bit here. If you have the option to choose between trust and distrust, I highly recommend you choose trust. Um, it's that simple. And so uh, with that, I will, I will bid you adieu. I will recommend for you um, the music of Black Star Kids. It is uh, hard to describe. Happy, um, poignant, not happy, um, serious, but jovial. Um, the, it's that kind of music where the beat often is more up but the lyrics are actually a little bit more involved. Um, but just uh, enjoyable. Um, I, I really uh, like their, their music, so I, I recommend you take a listen to it. Um, and then I will also recommend a book called Meander, Spiral, Explode by Jane Allison, which is a book about writing and is just, for me, was so useful to look at my writing differently and structure and form very differently. And with that, I will bid you adieu. Mwah. I love you, as always.